Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Philippians chapter 4 verses 11 to 13. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you thanks for yet another day of life, another morning that we can get up to give you thanks. Lord, I just pray as always that each and every single day of our life, you are there in the midst of us to guide us in the way of truth, in the way of peace, in the way of righteousness, so that we can have your joy, dear Lord, the joy and the peace that passeth all understanding, dear Lord, knowing that we can rejoice in every situation of our life, not being overcome by nothing but overcoming all things by you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, help our minds, our thoughts, our hearts, that help us to always stand fast on your word, so that we can, <clears throat> in every situation, we can do those things which are pleasing unto you, picking that which is righteous, choosing the good, and rejecting the evil, dear Lord. Help us to keep our flesh under subjection by the power of your Holy Spirit so that when we do operate in this life, we are being led by your Holy Spirit and those affections and lust of the flesh that they be cast away, dear Lord, so that we do not be succumbed by them or fall by them. Lord, I do pray for forgiveness also. Forgive us of our sins. Help us also to forgive those who have done wrong against us and those who are evil against us. Let us not heap up coals on, upon our heads by not forgiving, but let us forgive and love as you have taught us because you have really taught us how that through affliction, through grief, through anguish, through all of those things, dear Lord, you were able to forgive even when you were upon the cross you said father forgive them for you they for they know not what they do to show you how loving you are you were able to forgive those who just crucified you so if you can do that we know that we can do all things through you and we do not ask ignorantly dear lord we know that this may be difficult if our flesh is involved but through you, we can do all things. So I thank you and I just pray for each and every member of the body of Christ that you will help us, that you sustain us, that as we said, you lead us in all righteousness, dear Lord, and you help us through all our tests and trials and tribulations and temptations that we do not fail you. And I pray for our young ones also, dear Lord, that they are growing up in the way of truth, in the way of peace, in the way of righteousness, in your word and by you, dear Lord, so that when they are of age, they shall not depart from you, but be able to teach the generation that comes after them that true righteousness, which is found in you, Lord Jesus Christ, not by word only, but by deed and by what we, yeah, what, by what we do in this life. So I thank you for all things. Lead us in spirit and in truth whilst we read these scriptures this morning. Guide my lips in truth also, dear Lord. Lead me by your Holy Spirit and let everything be of you to the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, through you, by you, and for you, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, so uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse 11 says, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know how both to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me cool mm -hmm. long time when i read a scripture and but um it will go over it this morning in it um yeah 
in life, obviously, we're going to have our tests and trials and tribulations and temptations that we go through. Right? And um, I always tell people, I don't belittle anyone's situation, what they're going through, right? Because it is real. And the scripture speaks of about it's going to be a battle. If it was easy, they wouldn't use that reference of a battle, right? Which battle? I can't think of any battle which, no, which we can say, no, it was easy. No, a battle is a battle. It is warring against something, right? And we know that we war against powers and principalities and rulers of, 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 um, of evil, right? And not only that, that we're warring with those without that is the devil and his angels and as i said those who follow him we are warring with them without and we're warring with our own flesh within which is um prone to want to go and sin so we we have a constant battle that we're facing in this life and um as i said i don't belittle this because everybody situation is different but um, everyone's situation is according to the will of God. He has um, said that he wouldn't give any one of us any more that we can actually bear, right? So if we are going through something, it means that God, it might sound weird, but God really thinks that you are able to bear, bear this. You are able to um, conquer this. And we know that ultimately we need the strength of our Lord Jesus Christ to do so, right? And um, in, in the scripture here, um, verse 11, well, if you just read the verses up, he was just there commending the, those who were with him, right? The author was commending, which we assume is Paul, is commending those who were with him, who were working with him also. Um, he was there giving them some commands, right? Telling what, to, what things to think of. And... Um, yeah, just literally just encouraging them and telling them to continue in the faith, right? And he's just a verse above that, um, verse 11, he was just saying that um, the care of them has he has received, right? The, um, it was just, at, what is it, Philippians? So they were, they were very kind in ministering unto the apostle, right? But yet still... In verse 11, he said, he wasn't speaking. He was there, obviously, thanking them for their faithfulness and their, 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 um, their ministering unto him. But um, he wasn't speaking, as it said, not in respect of want. He wasn't um, there speaking that, yes, boy, me did need, <laughs> me did need some food and you give it to me. Um, yeah, he wasn't, uh, let me not give that example. He wasn't speaking in respect of one. That means he could have done without, right? He could have done without the things that the minister done to him. And <clears throat> I'll go on to explain this. He's not there being um, prideful, right? Or boastful, like, ah, I can't do without watching. Nah, that's not the tone. We can read the whole um, chapter and we know that that's not the tone that he was coming off with, Right? What he shows you there um, says is that he has learned in whatsoever state he is there to be content. That means that's what I meant. Like he, he could have done without it because he would have known, well, if they didn't minister this unto me, then I would just have to hold firm and hold fast to the little or the, 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 the amount that I have. Right. And it shows you there in verse 12 that he knows how to be a base and a base means to be brought low. That means to, if you say, if you can put it to be poor or be in, be of a, of a lowly state, right? He, so he says he know how to be a base, he know how to abound, and abound is obviously to be um, increased or having much, right? So in both states, he's, he's referring to, to be, if you, if you wanted us to use it in layman term, to be rich and to be poor, Right? um and we're not just talking money i was just using those terms that are easily relatable 
right? So he said, everywhere in all things, I'm instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to be abound and to suffer need. And you might ask, how can you be full and hungry at the same time? And how can you abound and suffer, suffer need at the same time? Depends. The Lord has his way to, to, to test us in certain things, right? And the testing of the Lord is for our good, right? It's to, it's to make us more or make us conform more to the image of our Lord Jesus Christ, right? Because remember, Jesus Christ being Lord of all and God of all, right? He came in, in the likeness of us. He still was rich, but he became poor for our sake, right? So he didn't lose his riches, but he became poor for our sake. Right, he could have. Get, if we just use Jesus for the how to be full and to be hungry, we know that the Lord was able to do all things, even when he, he came here in the likeness of us. But yet still, he he suffered hunger when he was tempted of when he was um yeah tempted of the the, the the devil. But we know that he was able to do all things, right? And he showed us because he had the Spirit of God which dwelt in him. Right, and um, verse thirteen just went on and said, "I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me." So, because Christ has done this and shown us this, and He has promised us that He would give us of His Spirit, which dwells in those who are His, right? We also can do likewise what He did. He was able to do all things because of the Father, which um, the Spirit of God, which um, dwelt in. That vessel, which we know as Christ Jesus, um, strengthened him and caused him to do all things which was pleasing unto our Heavenly Father. We, likewise, can do all things through Jesus Christ, who has taught us, who has given of his, us of his spirit, who, whose we are, right? So that, um, yeah, in all things, we can, we can do all things, right? And we really, sometimes we use these words, um, like, like, um, not genuinely. Like, yeah, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Don't get me wrong. I will say all of us, including myself, even knowing this word, when the test and trial come, you kind of question, like, can I really do this kind of thing? We can talk for myself, like, like, Lord, can I really do this? Like, hmm. Mm, that's when the flesh start coming in into play and you kind of start questioning things but as long as the word of god and the spirit of god dwell in us we are able to revert to that state of peace right that true state of peace knowing that in anything at all god is in control and if he's in control that means he 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 can do it he he, he he's the one pulling the strings right so if we rely on him and not our, of ourselves or depart from him then we know that he's going to always provide a way for us to get through that situation and it might not always look pleasant don't get me wrong i'm not here trying to look um say that it's always going to look pleasant it's sometimes going to be rough it's going to look rough as i said in the beginning there we're going through a battle and if you're going through a battle, although you're going, uh, although you are able to go through the battle, that doesn't mean that you might not get a few um, attacks here and there, right? Which you will have to to counter, right? But um, as I said, he's our strength. So whether or not we are, um, as I said, abound in our abyss or anything of the sort, we are strengthened by jesus christ who is our lord and king and everything right so yeah as i said it's, it's good to come up um to revisit these scriptures sometime especially right throughout our life right these scriptures weren't given for us to read once and then we go off and say yep i've got it now nah because we're still we're still in this present world, right? And in this present world, we're going to always need the word of God to get us through our day-to-day -day life, every moment of our life, right? But as we just conclude there, we can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth us, right? So, yeah, I'll leave it at that this morning, everyone. As always, anything at all that you want to share or post, or because you can't post it 
beneath the video. Just send them into the word at eatreachone.org. It's in the description. And as much as the Lord has given me knowledge, understanding, and strength or or wisdom, just um, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principle being led by his Holy Spirit. Right? And um, as I said, even if you disagree with me, send them in also. It's nice to talk. Right? It's better to talk than to keep it to yourself. So I'll leave it at that this morning, everyone. As always, I hope and pray that everyone has a prosperous day. Um, that the Lord do keep us all safe and that we can return tomorrow, God's willing, to partake in another daily bread. Right? Morning edification. So have a good day. Bye.